you play old patches. Play on older patches. Yeah, yeah. 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 I think on CS2. So. This is the last tournament that we'll see it in for. Who knows how long? At least post Shanghai Major, but realistically, probably uh, way past that point. So it might be the last time you see it for a while. It's quite sad. I, I, I'm actually a big fan of Overpass. I find this map very fun to pug on. Um, just running around, I find it pretty fun. So yeah, pretty sad. But either way, through Connector. As we get underway, our final map here of the day for us in uh, what has been a, a good old day of Counter Strike. They've got a double back and ZD on cars. They've got a nice little one two punch setup. Yeah, this is quite nice, actually. However, ZD are going to get blinded up massively. Oh, my goodness. They, I mean, are able to just absolutely mow over them there on the M80 side of things. I'm going to go down. Smoke gives a bit of room across to Tyloo, I suppose, but not really much that you expect for them to do here. The one flash for Advent. Get those players out of heaven is what they're going for here. Julie's flying in. Oh, my God, he's so blind. I think he hit the, sh the flash in midair. Oh, uh, yeah, it's, it's rough. It's rough. Tyloo try for a desperate attempt to get back into the round. Not going to happen. Flawless pistol. Work. For M80. Good. No complaints at all, right? That is what M80 had to come in towards this map. I'm going to start with just sheer confidence. Back yourself, and they do. I mean, you can see, yeah, a little scrappy, a little messy. Tali trying to do something themselves, but it's not to be. First round on the board, and Tali don't even scratch the surface, so... We'll leave M80. We have an easy little position to be in. Of much better firepower, much better chances in towards this one. And it shouldn't really be too expensive for them. They should get it with relative ease. Just about avoiding the stack if there is one. And of course, we do see the majority of the bodies here towards B. But the switch is going to go and test it regardless. Oh, money makers. However, oh, the USB's come back round for a double piece. Got ourselves a MAC-10 and a Galil recovered now. And it wasn't even necessarily a B stack. Hmm. Just Jam Young finding big kills. So they are around on A here, which they might not expect. Advent, P2K around the corner. Oh my God, and Mercury from long. No. Wow. No way they are getting away with that. Ah, M80. Yeah, they just figured because, you know, they go down into USBs. Someone's probably just instinctively said, oh, it's a stack. It's a B stack, you know, monster or, or whatever. Mm. And they've charged on towards A and not quite expecting the presence, not quite checking their angles clean. That's a that's a bad, bad round to lose. There's, there's no two ways about it. Oh, man. Tough to watch. It, it has to be said, that is a, a dire, dire position. I mean, anything at the end here for Wreck, or is he going to go down as well? There's a scooped up AK in Advent. Holding, he gets a swing, gets a double. That's not a bad round to lose, but it might not be lost. ZDR now, you know, making his way over. Caught by the flash, reckon to set himself up. Three kills to his name, looking for a quad clutch, but this is all about recovery. Fully eco on the cards, and Rex going to see it off. Oh, my God, what a sigh of relief for M80. Nearly losing to a full eco, and there's no time to be happy about that round win because it never, ever should have even got that close. Insane. Absolutely insane stuff. Fair play to Ty Lu and M80. I mean, fair play to them to pull it back. Yeah, just got to stay cool. Got to stay composed in those difficult end round situations. By coming in from Ty Lu, though. And uh, it's a little better than usual with some kill bonus dotted in for some of these players, interestingly enough. No kit this time around. It really held them out last time, if you remember, on Ancient and started their CT campaign pretty positively. But just going in for as much util as possible here. Up close. Swisher. Probably would have heard Lisa steps on towards the railing. They've got con control. Jamming and Advent going to drop in towards water again. This is all kind of information relay, but what use do you get out of it? Really, probably not all too much. For this full bite out of Tyloo, it is a must win. 
I guess for M80, same for them, right? They've had to dip so deep into the pockets because of how badly things went last time out. If Tyler lose this, it would allow M80 to spiral once again. Cars, they wouldn't have spotted one crossing there, so he might be unaware about the player. And a Slacks, who is close to the fight, but Cars is not overcommitting to the fight, which is good. Slow approach up long here from M80. Quite a bit earlier than may well be expected. Malb's just going in nice and dry ahead of utility, etc. Flash comes in. And unfortunately, although he turns away, he's not able to work around it. And the rest of the pins falling here. Tyloo barraging through that bathroom's area. Still not over just yet. Rotation's a little giddy. Nade, thank goodness, thins the numbers and denies the bomb plant away sin had to hide no time to get in no time to contend for the frags tyloo get the first rifle nice exactly that's a good thing for tyloo as well make sure that they can start their ct side well but the big thing is don't allow m80 to spiral on that t side it's one of those things it's a very difficult map to find consistency on the t side generally and uh it's one of those where, for now, Tyloo, if they can start to chain their CT side together well, they can start to put a lot of pressure on M80. Well, we know by for the T side. Got a uh, few pistols, but that is basically about it. Nothing too problematic. But the AK-47. So what can they make out of this full buy? The flash onto a swish. A bit of a panic there as he is full blind. This position no now. Good angle. Switch takes a lot of damage, but he's a lucky man to still be alive. Mercury. Able to get away from the Tech 9 spam M80. Quite far back here, the vast majority of them. They've gained some space into the bathrooms, but... No real follow-up. Albs leading the charge over here. It's Kaze at long that spots a little tiny bit of presence. Not too much. Really moving slowly here on the M80 side of things. Mercury going to break the silence and once the fight starts, whoa, it looks pretty good. Sin, however, double kill, double spray down, in fact. Still Mercury at the back end of the site. He goes a bit wide, a bit early. Maybe sensing a Molotov coming towards him. He loses his life and now M80 are on for it. Nade, going to come over towards default, but doesn't do anything. And then gets a gap and delivers the kill from him. Util in hand, but wreck. My God, he has a double dip to find that kill. Will Z the Ivan clear close. Left, he does, but not effectively. And Sin will rip his head off. M80 responding kind of a very important round, considering that was their sort of forced by and a bit of a last hurrah. It's really important that they've been able to answer back in kind like that, but ish. Oh, there's a second where that was looking just a little bit uncomfortable. Quick move here from M80 to try and gain some control in it short, maybe be itself. Swisher, decent position for him. Meanwhile, it is a uh, mid stack here from Tyloo. Just waiting patiently, trying to catch a player, trying to catch them coming up con, really. I don't think they're going to see too much action. It's the B-bomb site for M80. Should be an easy takeover here. Get that plan down in a few moments of time. And Tyloo, decision to make. We talked about this previously. Uh, it looks like they will throw themselves into it and just try and take some kills. But the round itself, surely not going to go their way. Yeah. Oh, well. A couple of kills coming through. But like you said, there's, there's nothing really going to happen at the tail end. Albert Slacks. Gonna try and catch anybody else on rotation. That'll be that. 
Nothing even gained as well for Talio on the save. They can't even overwhelm for a kill. Yeah, matey putting up a fourth here pretty nicely. And ZDR is going to play in the sand pit. Fair play. Why don't I kill some time at the tail end? Why not? Fourth on the board. Honestly, so far, good T side. Has to be said, really good T side out of a, uh, M80. I mean, on a map which we've already kind of spoken about as being quite difficult, generally speaking, on this T side for them to already have a good few rounds under their belt. Exactly what we want. But Tyloo, Bai going to come through. How do they respond? They got an AWP for Kaze, but bar that is the real thing that kind of worries us. I mean, you got. A FAMAS coming through, and, and so far we've seen from this Tylo, it's not about the firepower, it's about the way in which they're approaching these rounds. They're so passive, they're giving so much space for M80 to work with. Because of that, when M80 just take all of this map control, Tylo gets spread so thin. Look at this, quick again. Swisher flying into the fight. The flash is a beaut as he gets to. So aggressive, and Tylo just do not know how to deal with it. Oh, sin. Gonna find a quick frag onto Jam Young as well, M80. Looking to pick things up where they left off on Ancient. It is starting to get worrying for Ty Lu. Fifth round definitely in the bag for me. Ty Lu struggling to even convince themselves that they can win rounds. M80 taking over, baby. And it's looking pretty damn good. T side as well. So I think that really does put it into context for you. Yeah, this is a dominant display and a, a very worrying display as well. It has to be said. I'm getting concerned. Ty Lu are not showing us anything at the moment to be confident about. And Kaze gets caught. Gets caught. So you can see some quite full-on faces on the on the, the face cams over towards Ty Lu. Anything but towards M80. Things are going pretty comfortably for them. They are having a whale of a time in the server. Thus far, at this point, Alves and Swisher being the primary ones when it comes towards these opening frags. Cracking open sides. We saw Swisher just there in that double entry on towards B. Flying in with a MAC-10. The supporting util was sublime as well. Simple and effective. You can't really complain about this sort of type of Counter-Strike. Tyler just do not have any sort of a response at the moment. Yeah, I don't know, man. I don't know what to make of it, really. Tyler who really gave everything to that first map. They looked absolutely brilliant. And now it is, as you sort of said, I think a good way to sum it up. Again, keeping it cool, keeping it colloquial. Just a vibe check, isn't it, you know? Yeah, sometimes you need them. Uh, that's kind of what it feels like, really. M80 vibes are good. Uh, riding on a high from the previous map and feeling very confident in their ability. Ty Lu, meanwhile, struggling. You know, struggling. I think that they just can't win rounds and sometimes you get stuck in a rut. Yeah. Mental stuff. Oh, Swisher. Knew all too well about that possibility. I'll take a freebie every day of the week. Kaze gets deleted. The art. Kaze. Both having a bit of a rough game. Carson 1 and 7, ZDR 0 and 5, Advent 2 and 7. I mean, none of this kind of. The, the pack is showing up. The two OGs, are, Carson and Advent, are struggling. And I mean, everyone is, to be perfectly honest. Mercury and Jamming up to 4, and that's the most that they've got in this team. And this is a bit of a walk in the park for M80. Okay, they are really firing on all cylinders. And they have been since map two onwards and it does make you once again question just what happened in towards map number one i just think it was a simple thing they weren't really awake they you know took a little bit of time to warm up mechanically didn't look all there but also mentally in terms of the game plan took a bit of time for the gears and the the cogs to start to get into motion for sin and now they are Whew. can't be stopped man cannot be stopped beautiful stuff Oh, Jam Young. A little bit of a spot there towards Short. Not really in position to do much with it. I suppose it's a bit of information coming in. Airstrike. Oh, it does land, but I don't think it was quite perfect. Advent takes a bit of damage. Could have had a bit more slacks. I don't know if the tree is wall bangable. He's not feeling that, though. I think it is, you know. Yeah, I feel I like swear I've been spam bot through that tree. I'm not even joking. 
I'm sure I've been warbanged through it by a war hacker, so. I feel like it is. Oh my god, how is he alive? Cause he might not be after that. Nay! Touchdown! Maubs, double to open it. Love a little one two punch with the util and the AK and the mollies to come through as well. The double, in fact, just the doubly make sure Jamie doesn't go that way. It is okay. He's going back into what is potentially danger. It's that range from Transformer. A fight's been taken in. Maubs is up close. And he is loving life in the server. Three kills to his name as he continues his trucking on forward. Yeah, looking really damn good right now. I mean, the numbers overall for M80 are absolutely fantastic, to be honest. Tyloo totally stuck here. And it's not a good sign, you know, a, a map that... They're less familiar with, but we were expecting some numbers. We were expecting some competition. CT sided star, decent look against Maus, you know, one of the best teams in the world right now. But no, it is not coming off here against M83. Go down to the bomb, no real difficulty for uh, the T side. They've got plenty of money. In fact, a few of them close to cap, so they might be thankful, I suppose, to go down and, and reinvest. For the CT side, Kind of dire. Got another timeout coming in here. Very much needed. Tyloo. They've got one of the hardest conversations going at the moment. As you're 7-1 down. I mean, what do you do to try and find this form back in? And, you know, even still, they're going to have a little bit of a, a damper on the mood in terms of the buy as well. Jamion can invest, yes. But then for Kaze and Advent, they're going to have to take a hit somewhere in terms of they can't get the M4 full armor and full util out. So you see, half armor, half util for Advent is the play. Kaze is going to wield the scout and squeeze out a buy. But the mood in the camp of it was Tyler looks anything but positive. And we were talking about, oh, you know, it's all well and good. You know, win the knife round, get that CT side start. It is not making a slither of a difference right now. M80, this T side has been nigh on perfect, but one little hiccup, and even that was close. And maybe also the eco round, which Wreck had to clutch up. So, bar those two moments, it's been pretty good. Smoke comes deep. Reckon it can continue moving forward as well. Molotov's come up towards top cons. That'll force Jamming away, and he does cook a little bit. Or Mercury Mass says they know he's around. Oh. Big tag onto Mercury. Lucky to be alive. Can Tyloo work with that? They've had a couple rounds actually where, you know, some of their players have gotten away on low HP. And AT always come back to use it to their advantage. Long range spray from Malbs. Big kill. Gets a flash in, bursting forwards, looking to finish off the scout here. He's just being a nuisance, really overwhelmed by the rotation, but... Has it weakened up B enough for M80 to capitalize? That's the question. Making a little move. You see Wreck Park up and the pot flash over the try and get Swisher out here. Smoke will come down. Gives Eddie some coverage, some room to work with, but Advent falls. That's going to make things tougher once again. Wreck. Don't know if he spotted the R, but he does second time of asking. Lovely shot. Really nice stuff. You know, we really did highlight that DR coming in towards the series. 0-6, oh, he's really struggling on overpass. I bet he's glad of the new changes. I know Dust2 was a map which Tyloo did love back in the day. And right now, they wish they were on Dust2 to keep them alive here in this third and final map. Jam Young, not looking happy. As he just keeps on this AK-47. That will be that. An eighth put up. This is a massacre. Tyloo, you know, now basically... Coming up to a map and a half of Counter Strike, you've picked up only four rounds. That stat really does speak for itself. Let it hang in the air for just a second. Yeah, M80 uh, in the same vein, looking absolutely incredible. Really big fan of this thus far. <laughs> Lots of like. And you can see they're all good, man. You know, mm. the energy, again, is looking fantastic over these two maps. And you know as well, on the other side, you, you have to look at kind of a Tyloo 
they've had these conversations, they had a couple of timeouts, and nothing's changed. They're playing exactly the same. You know, we were speaking about it earlier. They give M80 so much space when it comes towards the map control. I do want to see, even if it's for one round and maybe a little bit of a half by, I'd love to see Tyler just try something a little different, a little more aggro, even if it's just, you know, rushing through like this, right? This is what I want to see. Try and facilitate the fights coming through. Jam Young going to try and back himself, but he gets caught. Swisher heard the jump and he steps away. And that forces Jamion to swing into him and he's just ready and waiting, posted on the corner. The AK is a chance. I actually don't hate it, even though he goes down. I just like them trying something different. You've got nothing to lose at this point, so why not? Slacks a hold with the orb for any rotations coming through to maybe try and pick up that AK-47, but an opening kill towards M80. You'd assume with this sort of buy that is left for Tylo, it should mean a ninth here. Yeah, certainly looking that way uh, at this point, Tyloo. I mean, trying for the aggression. The thing is, I feel like it's just a little um, too late, really. M80 are warm enough, ready enough for the fights. Malbs chilling on the edge of the smoke here. A few bodies around the corner. Takes out the first. Mercury with a goofy little off angle here. Gonna try and take the fight to the opponents. He does get one advent the same. But that's all she wrote. Kaze downstairs on the CZ. Getting ready for the new update, I suppose. That monetary change to the kill reward. But it will be a ninth here for M80. It will. It will. Can Kaze go and pick up that AK? Is he still there? That's the question. I think it should be. I can't see why. There we go. An AK. It's okay for Kaze. I'm not going to fully complain. My god, M80. Stunning stuff and a stunning silence on the faces of Ty Lue, right? They just cannot respond right now. Really has been a beautiful little display of Counter Strike with so much to like. Question being is there anything more? I think for M80, even at this point, nine, you probably say it's enough. I mean, T side, nine rounds overpass. That's got to be enough, surely. Well, Kaze will save. Phil tuck his head. That will be that. Nine to one. I don't really know as well for this side what left they have to give. I mean, that was a bit of a lesser buy with, you know, a few five sevens and whatnot. But even still, the one chance ever of an AK. I like it that he gets proactive. I like it that he tries something. It doesn't work. But honestly, at this point, you've got nothing to lose if you're Tyloo. Just have a little bit of fun of it. Try and flex the muscles. See what you can do. Yeah, I, it, it's rough, man. We've already highlighted. You gave it uh, statistically. I'll give it more. Uh, open-ended. It's essentially two maps where Tyloo have just not shown up at all. Um, really nice start to Ancient for me. I thought, honestly, it was going to be competitive. You know, some, some very clean rifle rounds once they got going. But M80, as soon as they found the groove, as soon as they replicated success, strung a few together, there was just no stopping them. And it's the same here again on Overpass. I don't know what has happened to Tyloo. It is kind of wild because... It just felt like that first map was a version of Tyloo that we've maybe never seen before, you know? They were incredibly well-read. It just was all falling into place beautifully against M80's CT side in particular. And that's just disappeared completely. It's not even like an advent argument or whatever the heck. Like, the whole team is really struggling. You can see that here. Few numbers look decent, but mm. yeah, not looking good at all. First in towards B, Advent. Nah, just beaten. Yeah, yeah M80, confident enough, contacting in, and they feel like they can be cheeky. They can get ahead of their nades and bait Tyloo into looking away. Yeah, confidence. You gotta love it. You really do. Cars like, can't do anything. Jam Young gets deleted on Swisher. The transfer is a beaut. Oh, it's absolute head loss towards Tyloo. Mentally, they are so checked out of this map, of this tournament. That is that. I mean, this is a damning, damning defeat of Tyloo. They are really all over the place. This does not look like a team. 
of Pro League standards or anything of, of that nature. Merky will get one. I don't think he's going to be given the luxury of saving, though. They're going to hunt all the way. Slax, in fact, being the one leading the charge as well. It's hilarious. So much damage to be dealt. Sink gets caught. Slax can't trade. Sticking around, though. Pistol pulled out. And a body shot with the deeg will do it. Final round of the half. 10 put up on the board. Oh, it's such a simple display out of M80. And it's not even like M80 are doing anything, you know, too incredible in terms of the strats. Not not take anything away from Sin and the Calling. It is just quite simple calls being made here. Jumping in towards fights, backing themselves, and just knowing that mechanically they are the better side in the server. And absolutely they are right now. North American Counter-Strike is far from dead, ladies and gents. But uh, yeah, Tyloo are looking pretty dead inside. Uh, some of the uh, some of the looks on those face cams, they are not feeling great about this. Boost up here is Jam Young. Looks for anybody pushing through Connector. One of the few times they haven't been through Connector, they're just playing contact long. Long range peak here for M80 on the boost. No one around though. So they will take a slow encroachment towards a Jam Young moving up to join his comrades. Karze set up and committed here onto this angle, but they're not really looking to uh, take a fight in the bathroom. Smoke goes down. Meanwhile, Breck through the smoke is going to spam one, maybe even the second. And the site has fallen just like that. M80 doing no wrong here as they look set to hit 11. At the turn of the half, ZDR and Advent. I mean, there's not much you can do here, fellas. A complete checkout from Tyloo. It is absolutely insane to see. Malbs just making mince meat out of them this round and essentially all half long i think it is safe to argue slacks finds the final kill and look at that i mean look at that scoreboard it tells a story of its own absolutely one-sided affair here for not just one map now but also the second of ancient prior we're going to take a break tyloo definitely need it
I made to you have obviously got somewhere to be this evening in Malta because this is potentially two of the fastest maps that I have casted in a long, long time. 11-1 at the turn of the half. It was a 9-3 on Ancient, so this is better. This is better, really. And they should absolutely be able to close things out from here. It's just a question of how quick will they uh, finish off Ty Lu. Yeah, man, I saw... Uh... Oh, we had a little half down break there. Maui put it right quite aptly. It's a slaughter, and it is an absolute slaughter. It's a one side of the fair, one team in this game. That's M80. The North Americans are looking incredible. Jam Young, I'm going to try and lead the charge out through long here. I'm going to try and make a bit of a move and, and do something, but. For Tyloo, it's absolutely now and ever with this pistol. If, you, if they can't find it here and now. That'll be the beginning of the end. Sin. I'm going to try and work something here, but I don't know whether they realize actually how close they're getting. Sin going to get one, but he doesn't give... Oh, he isn't given the luxury of escape. Ping! The flash is good, but Jam Young blind. He'll find it. He doesn't expect another now. He will. Rotations are here quite quick, though. They're ready on the A-bomb site. There's Wreck evening things up instantly. Julie's on the backside from Swisher. He's playing it quickly, gets good timing. They thought maybe he'd be round a bit earlier, trying to isolate the fight against Wreck. It's not going to happen. Oh, my God. Absolutely ruined. Or if you will, wrecked, I think. Yes, for sure. That is the word to describe how that's just gone down. <laughs> well, oh, this has been a... Oh, it's been a massacre. It has, and just adding more insult to injury. This is... Oh, this is a rough, rough display from Tyler. I mean, you know, they've had their moments in this tournament and, you know, a couple of instances where we can talk positively about them. It hasn't been, you know, the tournament that they probably won, but for this to be the exit, oh, it's just so unceremonious. Wrecked, exactly that. By Wreck, just beautiful, beautiful stuff. By our both ways, Tyler, last hurrah. Can they save face a little bit in this final map? As they will bid farewell to that of Pro League ZTR is yet to get a kill. Oh my god. Oh, this has been so rough for him. And he's been so good all tournament as well. And he finds out 0 and 11. And this could be the last time he could actually go the whole game without a kill, which is just it's brutal for a guy who absolutely deserves one. Of all the people on Tyler, he's been so good this tournament. And to, to kind of bow out in this way for him individually is just so rough. Well, hopefully the fellas can win this one for ZDR so he can get at least one kill. A lot of faith here. <laughs> yep. I that believe. Copium coming through. I believe. Nah, nah, nah. I, I need him, man. I need him to get at least one. We can't be having him getting none. That would be not good. We've had Advent yeah. getting a lot of flack in this tournament. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And then ZDR yeah, does this. Cool you know, Tyloo are probably going to be like... What the hell are we doing? High right? hell, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, I don't envision a good world here, but Wreck envisions a finish. An M80 world. Slack's going to get it done. That's it. Wow. That's it. Jam Young. No HP, none left at all now, in fact. 13 to 1, 2 to 1, and goodness gracious me, four drop map, uh, rounds in two maps from M80 is absolutely incredible. What a showing. Yeah, that was a crazy display. A massacre of, of all ages. I mean, there is...